Welcome to Kermit Uncut. You cannot have failed to notice that awards season is upon us. How do you know? Well, all the big awards movies are currently vying for your attention in cinemas. In cinemas right now, for example, we have Birdman starring Michael Keaton. We have The Theory of Everything starring Eddie Redmayne. And we have Foxcatcher with Steve Carell. These are big hitters all going head to head at both the BAFTAs and the Oscars. Why? Well, because there is a general feeling that awards voters have very short memories. In America, for a film to be eligible for the Oscars, it has to run for seven consecutive days in Los Angeles County before the end of the year. Here in the UK, the BAFTAs have a slightly different rule. Actually, the eligibility extends into the first couple of months of the year. So, in America, all those films open just before Christmas. Here, they open in the run-up to the BAFTAs. And the suggestion is that voters will only vote for films they have seen in the last couple of weeks. So, in the next few weeks, we have coming out in cinemas the terrific Whiplash. Keep playing! Keep playing! We have Clint Eastwood's American Sniper, we have uh, J.C. Chandler's The Most Violent Year, and of course we have the Oscar big hit to Selma. May I have a word? There's no word to be had. Now, I understand the logic behind putting these movies out just before awards voting happens, but what happens to the movies that opened some months ago? I mean, for example, what happened to Bell? When Bell opened on both sides of the Atlantic, it got terrific reviews. In America, in certain cinemas, it outperformed Spider-Man 2. And yet, it appears to have opened too early for awards consideration. And what about Tim Spool? You may remember a few months ago, I did a blog, I'd just seen Mr. Turner, which I really liked. I thought Tim Spool's performance was magnificent. I was absolutely certain that he was a shoe in for an Oscar nomination. In fact, he has recently, in America, won the National Society of Film Critics Award. However, some people are saying, well, look, he won the award for Best Actor at Cannes back in May. Surely this is now old news. And oddly enough, when you look at the Oscars betting odds, he is far further down the list than I think he deserves to be. Why? Well, possibly because Mr. Turner has kind of come and gone. <sighs> of course, my problems with awards go far deeper than release dates. I mean, I want to know, where's the Babadook? <laughs> well, there's the head. Where's Frank in all these award ceremonies? That's the reason why I set up the Kermode Awards all those years ago, to demonstrate that generally you could get a better list of winners from films and actors and directors who weren't even nominated at the big awards ceremonies. But you know the real irony about all this rush to release just prior to the awards is that it doesn't work. What's going to win Best Picture at the Oscars and probably the BAFTAs? Boyhood. When was it released? Summer. I see your point. So we should just let it happen more naturally, right? That's what you're saying. Okay, that's what we'll do. Starting now. 